you want to know what it's like to sleep with other men. If they haven't, if if it's not about lots of sex, and and I mean, if they did that, that's not that's manageable too. But I think women who've never, or a guy who's never been with anyone other than their spouse. I don't care how conservative the community is. I don't care how much they love each other. They're going to spend a lot more time just wondering, God, what would it be like to have sex with someone else? And everyone and has different priorities for their relationship and their life and whatever, but I I do, you know, I, I think it's a fairy tale, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, in some situations, it works out, I guess, but... But I, I, I'm always, I would always, I think I would always choose experience over, you know. Yeah, like, Well, just over saying, hope this is the, the right match, you know, like, right. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a more informed decision, among other things. I will say I had this, this conversation with someone from a traditional culture when I was 18. It was in India, and, was, and a guy there was just floored by the fact that I told him I wasn't, because I felt this way for as long as I can remember. And he was floored that I didn't care that she'd slept with other men as much as I disliked the idea of marrying a virgin. But to me, it's just... Yeah. I think that we should go back to the text and, oh, and talk a little bit more before we wrap up, because it's 508. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. What else, uh, what else, Luke? Because I feel like you've pointed us in... In, in good direction. Well, good direction. I'm... I'm, 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 I'm well, I mean, isn't this one of the best love stories and the, the few love stories in, in, in the Bible? I mean, between uh, Isaac and, and, and Rebecca. I mean, there aren't really many love stories yeah. in the Bible. Yeah, does seem to be love at first sight. And, and Isaac doesn't take another another wife at any point, right? Right. As yeah, he's the I'm one right. monogamous patriarch. It is really, it is nice. Mm. And he loved her. It says that he lo- that he, he loves her. He loved her. And, yeah. And who else does it say in the Bible or in the Torah that he loved her? Yeah. No, it's not used very much. It's not? No. As far as this I'm aware. Is, usually is he knows her. Yeah, but, but usually it's all about the sex. But. Right. Well, yeah. The uh, yeah. Or, or the... Or the, the, the... The multiplication. Yeah. But no, this... this You're right. It is, no, it is a, 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 no. a kind of love story. Um, I picture her with that big nose ring, like a big gold nose ring. and like. Yeah. I just picture her <laughs> like, sort of like, almost, I don't know, like a belly dancer or something because she's you know yeah. she, he immediately he's like you're Eliezer or whatever he's like okay wait you're good I'm going to put this nose ring on you and then like I'm going to give you bracelets yeah, and I just picture yes. her being like yeah, yeah like totally. Ruby you know <laughs> totally yeah she does and and when she goes home her brother Levon is is, is is so pleased to see her looking so uh, yeah. so tight I, yeah she <laughs> it is kind of so it's yeah, the, it's, it's the, the key verse, the, the most beautiful Version. verse in, in the Pasha is uh, Genesis chapter 24, verse 67. Isaac brought her into the tent of Sarah, his mother. He married Rebecca. She became his wife, and he loved her. And thus was Isaac consoled after his mother. Yeah. Yeah, I, no, that's beautiful. I mean, it's almost like, uh, obviously, there's a lot of taking of wives throughout this text for the purpose of, of just, you know, of multiplying. Yeah. But... I think one of the things that Isaac is really missing is that love. And so it's nice that not only does he take this woman to be his wife and, and to move forward with in a very practical way, but he loves her and he's consoled yeah. because he's got this love sort of to to sustain him again after this loss. Yeah, it's a beautiful, it's a, it's a kind of a beautiful little uh, uh, image and story. And there I was earlier, you know, I'm disappointed. I, I was just focusing on the... Uh, the, what I didn't like about the gender relations of it, but it's really nice. It's there's a. Yeah. Now you guys claim that Rebecca fell, but according to Rabbi Outscroll, overawed by the dignified appearance of the approaching man, Rebecca <laughs> modestly inclined herself to one side, while still mounted on the camel, in order to turn her face from him. As other commentators translate literally, she fell, meaning that she alighted quickly from the camel and stood modestly. So what? What? Well, what do you draw? What do you? Wait, wait, wait. What then, upon hearing that he was Isaac, she veiled herself. Right. She alighted from the camel and said to the servant, "Who is this man?" So she's showing off her modesty. That is my master. She took her veil and covered herself. She just doesn't want him to think that she's a floozy. <laughs> is that right? It? Well, she's modest. 
Yeah, she wants him to Modesty know that she's respectable and yeah, she doesn't like a virgin staring. that no man has known. And yeah, she wasn't just going to get staring into a strange man's face, but she likes she's modest. She was modest. It reminds me. Uh, I don't know. Does does uh, does she protest too much? It reminds me of what someone once said about uh, New Guinean pop, uh, penis gourds they're supposedly for modesty, that it's, it's the most immodest form of modesty I've ever seen. She's very aggressive about demonstrating her modesty. Right. It's like a fan dance. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen a good burlesque fan dance? <laughs> I, I don't know it's like great. quality, it's, but... It's <laughs> basically... Could you show us? It's, it's, I don't have a fan yeah, right, right, with right. me. <laughs> Unfortunately, but uh, you know, do a little googling and you'll see it's it's a perfect comparison because the fan dance basically is is a burlesque dancer who's on stage wearing nothing but fans, very very little yeah, yeah, if sure. anything, yeah, yeah. and she's got one of those those big soft yeah, fluffy fans, right, right, right. and the way that she dances is she's always got it in front of her and she turns and she's. She knows, you know, exactly the right moment to like flip it so that you never see anything, right. Right. anything. Uh -huh. But you're always thinking you're so close to seeing it that you right. almost you see it in your mind's <laughs> eye, you see it in your imagination, and it's more of a thrill right. not to see it and to be yeah. teased with that possible uh -huh. like fan being moved than it is to, actually, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah. yes, totally. It's brilliant. And but and that's the kind of it's not coquettish, but she, there's just this confident we refer to it for this confident constant confidence with Rebecca, even in the way she she demonstrates her modesty, like there's just no, yeah. she knows what she's doing all the time. She really she does. Um, she knows that, you know, what's implied is more important in that moment than... Yeah. <laughs> and I love that Isaac responds to that, that he loves her and not just yeah. knows her, and he only marries her. That's really nice. So, <coughs> Isaac brought Rebecca into Sarah's tent when he observed that her actions were like those of Sarah, then he married her. That's what this commentary says? Yeah, yeah. according to the Bible. You're just like, you remind me of my mom. Yeah. I loved my mom. Well, <laughs> men do, look, men do, are, 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 there's no getting around it, mammals are attracted to females that in some way remind them of their mother. Oh, yes, right. and, and that is why a good therapist will tell a woman who's single and looking for a guy, make sure he likes his mother. Because just because they're looking for a woman who like subconsciously reminds them of their mother doesn't mean it's going to work out because right. they might loathe their mother. Make sure he likes what his mother. If, if he hates his mother, that means what? As far as well, you know, your 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 parents of the opposite sex, assuming that you grew up in a home with right. a parent of the opposite sex, is your first role model for how to right. relate with right. the opposite right. sex, and so you've had a positive relationship with your mother who's made you feel good about who you are and who you respect and everything, right. you're going to probably have an easier time relating huh. with women romantically. Right. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. Make sure he likes his mother. And he likes well, his mother. Oh, interesting. I mean, because in my case, I thought the only thing that I took from my mother that I, is that I tended to be attracted from women to, with women with similar ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds. A and there was no reason for that. I was just, I was capable of appreciating other women as well. But... Uh, but the personality, I don't, I don't know. I guess I should bring it up with my therapist. Um, but um, Isaac's love was inspired by Rebecca's righteousness and the aptness of deeds, the only criteria upon which the Torah bases the love between husband and wife. Righteousness and aptness of deeds. Aptness of deeds. You have really apt deeds. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> That's Your a cool. Deeds are apt. <laughs> yeah, I kind of. Um. Aptness of deeds. So, what's another way of putting that? That might be a little bit more clear. Aptness of deeds. Or like I don't know, just you know, right deeds. You're righteous, just baby. You're like, righteous. Yeah, baby. yeah, yeah. Like that's that's righteous. Um, but so aptness of deeds, like being. I mean, it, it being exactly the way that she demonstrated she was. You know, initially, which was being aware of and considerate. Yeah. You know, to other people and right. thinking of their needs and um, potentially even placing them before her own at first and right. um, you know yeah I mean being kind of principled and right. uh, modest but confident and all of these right. very good qualities very apt deeds and also it's uh, maybe just also just a simple reminder find a woman who behaves and lives in the way you like rather than don't just go for the, the superficial stuff or, or whatever but right yeah. because ultimately that's what's going to sustain a relationship right. that you know if if you have respect for someone, right. you know who, who they, they are, are rather, rather than, than how they look, how or they look or 